Hi everyone, welcome to my game of the month for October 2023. This is Goda vs Takami from the OE prelims. Playing Sente is Goda Masataka, ranked 9 Don. In one of my first videos on this channel, I said that Goda has a style that has been nicknamed Odo, or the Royal Path. Playing Gote is his opponent, Takami Taichi, ranked 7 Don. There are surely many ways to describe beauty in Shogi, but I would say this game is one way to define it. In my personal opinion, this game is really beautiful. It begins with pawn to 2 6, pawn to 8 4, pawn to 2 5, pawn to 8 5, gold to 7 8. Instead of this move, pawn to 7 6 might have gone to a bishop exchange or side pawn picker opening. With this move, Goda declares Aigakari, double wing, double wing attack. Gold to 3 2, silver to 3 8, silver to 7 2. Pawn to 9 6, pawn to 1 4, pawn to 2 4, pawn takes, rook takes, pawn drop 2 3. At this point, I think Goda's rook can go back to 2 6, which is a floating rook strategy that might proceed into a rapid aerial fight or other strategies like twisting rook. But instead, he pulls back to 2 8, which seems to indicate that he wants to play a slow game. Pawn to 3 4, pawn to 7 6. In this position, Takami could play pawn to h6, pawn takes, rook takes, and one example would be pawn drop a7, rook takes 7 6, bishop takes 2 2 promotes, silver takes, pawn drop 7 7, rook to 7 4, bishop drop a2, lance to 9 2, bishop to 9 1 promotes, bishop drop a3. This was played in a professional game between Masuda and Miyata in 2020. Sente has a horse, and Gote has a 1 pawn advantage. I'm not sure, maybe it's close to an equal game. Anyway, Takami proceeds with pawn to 7 4. But after this move, he can't play pawn to 8 6 immediately because there will be a fork on 9 5. So at this timing, Goda plays bishop takes 2 to promotes, silver takes, silver to 8 8. And after silver to 7 3, silver to 7 7, he manages to prevent Takami from exchanging his rook's pawn. Takami responds with silver to 6 4, pawn to 4 6, king to 4 1, silver to 4 7, king to 3 1. And seeing this move, Goda responds with pawn to 1 6. Another shogi professional was surprised to see this move. It would be natural to play moves like pawn to 6 6 or silver to 5 6 to counter Takami's rapid advancing silver, but by going to the edge, Goda prevents Takami from extending with pawn to 1 5, which could be a useful move because Takami has just castled to the right. At the moment, it's hard to know if this move is good or bad. Takami attacks with pawn to 7 5, but it's okay for Goda. He just takes it. And after silver takes, pawn drop 7 6. The idea is that after pawn to 8 6, pawn takes 7 5, pawn takes 8 7 promotes, Goda can use the rook's pawn he exchanged with pawn drop 8 3, rook takes, bishop drop 6 5. This position might seem like it's over, but after the game, Takami said he thought about bishop drop 9 2, silver drop 7 4, rook to 8 4, bishop takes 8 7, pawn drop 7 3, pawn drop 8 5, rook to 8 2, silver to 6 5. Rook takes a5, so it's not as simple as it looks. But according to Takami, he didn't play this sequence because he knew that the game had a live broadcast and he thought that he would be laughed at for playing like this. In the game, Takami pulls back to 6-4 and Goda proceeds with gold to 3-8, knight to 3-3, pawn to 3-6, and now pawn to 2-4. This is a poison pawn. After rook takes, pawn drop 2 5, rook takes 3 4, silver to 2 3, rook to 3 5, silver to 2 4, rook to 3 4, gold to 2 3, Goda's rook would be trapped. So Goda first plays pawn to 3 5. And after pawn takes, rook takes 2 4, it would be bad to play pawn drop 2 5, because Goda can attack with pawn drop 3 4, silver to 2 3, rook takes 2 3 promotes, gold takes. Pawn takes 3 3 promotes, gold takes, knight drop 4 5, and Takami's king would be in trouble. So in the game, Takami plays silver to 2 3, and after rook to 2 8, pawn drop 2 4, Goda finally castles his king to 6 8, and the king's proximity to the 8th file means that pawn drop 7 5 might be working now. But Takami first plays gold to 5 2, and even in this calm position, Violent possibilities lurk just below the surface. For example, after bishop drop 5 6, 
Golda would be aiming at pawn drop 3 4, and Takami might attack the bishop's head with silver to 5 5. But after bishop takes 2 3 promotes, gold takes pawn drop 3 4, gold takes silver drop 2 3. It's big trouble because rook to 8 4 can be met with pawn to 5 6. Whereas after gold to 4 4, rook takes 2 4, gold to 4 2, pawn drop 3 4, Golda's attack seems to be breaking through. So instead, Takami might play pawn to 4 4. And after pawn takes 3 3 promotes, gold takes. Goda would get a silver and a knight in exchange for a bishop and a pawn, but Takami's king looks vulnerable, so maybe this could have been a good outcome for Goda. In the game, Goda plays pawn to 6 6, perhaps planning to respond to pawn drop 7 5 with bishop drop 6 7. But instead, Takami decides to strengthen his castle with pawn to 4 4, silver to 5 6, gold to 4 3. And after gold to 4 7, he decides to play pawn drop 7 5. But Goda won't allow Takami to activate his silver to the 5th rank now. He counters with pawn to 6 5. But after pawn takes 7 6, silver takes, silver drops 7 3. His silver is no longer protecting the 8 6 square, and there isn't a clean way to prevent Takami from exchanging his rook's pawn. He could play bishop drop 7 7, but dropping his bishop would lose much of his attacking power. So instead, he allows Takami to exchange with knight to 7-7, seven, seven, pawn to 8-6, pawn takes, rook takes, and he defends with gold to 8-7, rook to 8-2, pawn drop 8-6. With this shape, Golda's king is totally without any castle. At a glance, it might look wide, but if Takami can exchange one of the generals, he could think about dropping his bishop into Golda's camp and making a powerful attack. Golda does have the possibility to make thickness with pawn drop 7-5, so Takami plays pawn drop 7-4, and Golda's shape is pretty much finished here, so now he finally starts the middle game. Knight to 8-5, silver to 8-4, pawn drop 2-5, pawn takes, bishop drop 6-1. This bishop drop works because it makes a double threat of pawn drop 7-2 and pawn drop 2-4. After the game, the players considered ignoring these threats and playing pawn drop 8-8. And for example, after pawn drop 2-4, silver takes, pawn drop 3-4, pawn to 8-9 promotes, pawn takes 3-3 promotes, gold takes, Knight to 3-7, it would be a difficult game. Instead, Takami defends with gold to 3-4. So Golda proceeds with pawn drop 7-2. And after pawn drop 8-8, if he simply takes it, then Takami's attack would begin to connect after pawn drop 7-5, silver to 6-7, silver takes 8-5, pawn takes, knight drop 7-6. And Golda's king looks very weak. So with this move, Takami makes a base inside of Golda's camp. Golda strikes back with pawn to 4-5. If pawn takes, then silver to 5-5 followed by pawn drop 4-4 would be too severe. So instead, Takami goes for knight takes. Pawn drop 4-6, pawn 7-5, silver to 6-7, knight takes 5-7 promotes, gold takes, pawn to 8-9 promotes. And with this sequence, Golda's shape has become disorganized. Now begins a new phase of the game. Both players have successfully invaded the other player's camp, but it's not endgame because neither player has enough attacking material to approach the other player's king. In my own experience, it's easy to lose a threat in this kind of position that requires objectivity and creativity. Here, Golda plays knight to 1 7. The difference with knight to 3 7 being that after pawn to 3 6, he would play gold to 4 7, improving his shape while defending the 3 7 square. Takami counterattacks with silver takes 8 5, pawn takes, rook takes. Because Golda doesn't have a pawn in hand, he's forced to drop the silver. Silver drop 8 6. And after rook to 8 2, Takami has gained from the exchange by getting a knight in hand. Even though Golda got a silver, he had to drop it immediately, and it remains as a target piece that can enable the sabaki of Takami Takami's rook at any moment. Now Golda takes the pawn on 2 5. And the pivotal question is this, what is Golda's plan after Takami plays pawn drop 2-4? First, Golda drops a pawn on 3-3, making a base, but after gold to 4-2, what about his next move? Well, if he plays knight to 1-3 promotes, then after lance takes, bishop takes 3-4 promotes, silver takes, rook takes 2-4, gold takes 3-3, Golda's attack won't be enough. For example, 
Gold drop 2 1, King to 4 2, Rook to 2 2 promotes, Gold to 3 2, and the initiative will pass to Takami. How about Gora's Royal Road? On to 1 5. We're about to see the culmination of a plan that was initiated in the opening when Gorda surprisingly played pawn to 1-6. It enabled him to activate his knight to 1-7 and then 2-5. Now it all comes together. If Takami simply captures the edge pawn, then after Lance takes, Gorda will win the battle for the 1-3 square. Even after bishop to 3-7, he can step in with Lance to 1-3 promotes, Lance takes, knight takes promotes, bishop takes 3 promotes, promoted knight takes 2-3, and his attack would be much faster. In the game, Takami proceeds with bishop drop 7-9, king to 5-8, knight drop 3-6, attacking Gorda's rook while making a dangerous pincer on Gorda's king. Then after rook to 2-9, pawn takes 2-5, pawn takes 1-4, Gorda threatens not only to promote, but also to break Takami's shape with knight drop 1-5. So Takami has to deal with it by playing pawn drop 1-5, lands takes, pawn drop 1-2. And at this point, Gorda tries to fix his own shape with gold to 4-7. In this exchange, Golda activated his knight for a strong position on the edge as well as two valuable pawns in hand. The foothold on 3-3 remains because if Takami takes, then Golda can make a powerful horse on 5-2. So in the game, Takami plays knight draw 4-3. If Golda immediately plays pawn to 7 one promotes, then Takami might step in with the king to 8-8. The king takes 8-1, rook takes, Bishop to 7 2 promotes, King takes 8 7, Horse takes 8 1, Gold drops 6 8, King to 5 7. After Takin takes 8 6, then Golda might be slowed down, might be able to slow down Takami's attack with Rook takes 7 9. So how about Gold takes 6 7, King takes, Bishop to 8 8 promotes? I don't know. I think Golda's position is easier to play, but it seems like a difficult fight. But with pawns in hand, Golda instead goes for pawn drop a3, and after rook takes, pawn to 7 1 promotes, rook to 8 4, he drops his second pawn to 8 5. If Takami escapes to 5 4, then Golda can trap the rook with knight drop 6 6, so his only option is to escape to 7 4, and after the king takes a1, he counters with pawn to 4 5. If Golda takes the pawn, then pawn drop 4 6 would be big. On the other hand, if he plays rook takes 7 9, the king takes, King to 5 7, making an early escape. I think it would still be difficult after rook drop 1 8. For example, king to 6 6, knight to 4 8 promotes, gold to 5 7, pawn takes 4 6, silver takes 7 5, rook to 4 4, and Takami's attack seems to be working. So, in the game, Golda defends with knight drop 3 8. And after king takes to 8 8, pawn takes 4 5, gold takes 3 3. He drops his other knight to 4-6, threatening pawn drop 3-4, and then bishop to a3 promotes, trapping Takami's rook. Takami plays rook to 2-4, and Gorda takes the lance on 9-1. With this, he gains another useful piece and expands his advantage. Takami tries to fight back with bishop takes 4-6 promotes, knight takes, Takin takes 8-7, but Gorda's attack can now proceed in a straight line with pawn drop 3-4, silver takes, knight takes, rook takes, Silver drop 5 1. If Takami pulls back to 4 1, then after pawn to 4 4, rook takes, lands drop 4 5, gold takes 5 1, land takes 4 4, gold takes 6 1, rook takes 2 5, Golda's attack seems pretty unstoppable. In the game, Takami escapes to 3 2, and now Golda plays land drop 4 4. In this position, one possibility would have been pawn drop. 4, 6. Gold takes, knight draw 5, 4, land takes 4, 3 promotes, gold takes. And after the game, Goda said that he was concerned about this possibility. But the players reviewed the move knight draw 5, 5, which turns out to be a threat mate. For example, after knight takes 4, 6, king to 4, 7, knight drop 5, 4, this would place Goda's king in a threat mate. But Goda can checkmate first with knight takes 4, 3 unpromotes. Gold takes, bishop drop 4 2, king to 2 2, gold drop 2 1, king to 2 3, pawn drop 2 4, rook takes, bishop takes 2 4 promotes, king takes, 
Rook drop 2 2, Knight drop 2 3, Rook takes 2 5, King takes, Bishop takes 4 3 promotes, King to 2 6, Rook takes 2 3 promotes, King to 1 7, Horse to 1 6, King takes, Gold drop 2 7, King takes 1 5, Gold to 2 6, and checkmate. In the game, Takami tries to hang on with pawn drop 4 2. But after Lance takes 4 3 promotes, Pawn takes, Golda enters the end game with knight draw 4 4. Pawn takes, Bishop takes 3 4 promotes, Gold takes, Bishop draw 5 2, making a severe double threat of Rook drop 5 1 and Bishop takes 3 4 promotes. Takami makes one last counter attack with knight draw 4 6, Gold takes, Bishop draw 3 7, but Golda finds Gold takes 3 6, Pawn takes, Rook draw 4 1, King to 2 2, Bishop takes 3 4 promotes, and after knight draw 4 6, King to 4 7, Takami resigns. In this game, Golda's masterful middle game strategies left a deep impression on me. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.